Hi, when I saw this wonderful sunshade, I actually had to tell you how this works. So join me and I will explain a little bit about this wonderful thing. In general what it does, this is the entire engine that opens and closes this sunshade. It's a very heavy motor. There's a transmission in front that reduces the speed of the motor and makes it much more powerful. And then you can see over here there's a rack, which is actually a straightened gear. Underneath here is a round gear and whenever this turns left and right, being rotated by the motor, this rack moves left and right. And I can show you over here, you can see this rack, which is actually a straight gear. In here you can see end positioners and they are fixed with these screws so you can actually adjust and whenever the entire rack system moving the upper system over here to the right hand side this point will actually hit this switch and that means whenever you switch the big button to darken the room this whole system will move from the left to the right hitting that button as an end and that will actually stop the motor so you won't be able to break anything by controlling this device on the other side of it we also have the end switch over here which is already engaged due to the fact that the system now is fully open so whenever this machine runs to the right it releases this switch and at the end will stop it when this switch is be activated by that point. So there's a scissoring mechanism that goes the entire length of the room. So this axle that moves fore and right or left and right, it's connected to this rack. And the lures itself are pivoted at the end towards the window and that makes the entire thing rotate like a door and having multiple of these will actually shut down the entire room but how do they connect it? so they are actually fixed with these guiding bushes to the fixed part of the window frame so this is actually guiding horizontally and you can also see there's ball bearings you can see here a little bit greasy these are two ball bearings and there are every element is connected like that to the horizontal part. So this keeps this piston, let's say, this bar pushing left and right. To that attached you will see this small arm and the arm is connected via screw to here. This is a pivoting point, it rotates left and right. And then you also see that it is hinged in here where it also rotates. So that makes the pivoting movement. And in here you can see these adjusters and they are actually on every of the different lamellas or doors and they can be adjusted by the length so this is more or less likely a left and a right hand thread and by pushing and turning this forward or backwards you're actually able to enlarge or shorten your the length that will be the micro adjustment for every of these different elements so you can actually 
make sure whatever imperfections are maybe on that point, if it's a little bit off, you are able to adjust the length by that. And that makes the whole thing close entirely or open entirely. I'd like to switch it off and on and I'll show you again how this works. What's actually really funny if you see how this entire system is um, fit into the room itself. So you can see, this is the brick wall in here and they have to chamfer this in order to accommodate the engine. So there's room for all of these contra contraptions over here to be able to make sure that the lamellas can be as low as possible onto that. Next to that you can also see that they had to, to shape a hole or some sort of edges around to make sure that the engine fits in there. And on the left hand side you can also see that they had to slot out a piece of the wall to accommodate this last piston. Otherwise the entire sunshade would not have been gone to the left side or maybe they had to fix the last element. But in this case, in order to make it also movable, they had to carve out a little bit of this wall to make sure that this piston would actually fit in there. Up there, there's a safety switch. But in general, I will show you in this room is a switch over here. And whenever I push the button in here, closing, the entire system will close and now it becomes very dark in here but let's push the button again and open it again so you can see light is on again what a wonderful machine or sunshade it all works flawlessly you can see how old it is due to the amount of grease and dust it already piled. A wonderful thing, still works, needs a little bit of love every now and then, but um, what a machine.